Are you an athlete that's struggling with developing content ideas? If so, this video is just for you as I'll be going over three different lessons when it comes to building your athlete brand that you can learn from LeBron James playing at the Drew League. Stay tuned. Everybody. It's Andrew from Athlete Marketing Playbook, the channel that's going to help you build, then monetize your athlete brand. If you're new to the channel, we release weekly content surrounding athlete branding and marketing, monetizing your athlete brand, and any NIL updates. So if that sounds like something you're interested in or something you might be wanting to see more content of, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you're alerted each and every time we drop a new video. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm sure by now you've heard about LeBron James pulling up and playing at the Drew League recently. Now, outside of the 42 points, the 16 rebounds, covering up the Adidas logo, there's so much more valuable insights that you could have gathered from there if you're looking to build then monetize your athlete brand. So let's jump in at number one, creating your YouTube channel. Now, personally, I think YouTube is a top three platform when it comes to building your athlete brand outside of Instagram and TikTok. But it's a great way for you to give an exclusive look to your fans on your life on and off the court. With storytelling or episodic content, I think it's a great way for you to share your experience with your fans and bring them along on that journey with you. Oh, and did I fail to mention, YouTube is the second largest search engine and the number one most preferred platform for sports fans in the US. And if you need any more incentive to create your YouTube channel, over 70 million views per day are being earned for sports related content while 57% of people viewing sports-related content are looking at highlight videos. So I think it's a great opportunity for you to be able to connect with the audience that you're looking for and provide some good value, some good content. And that takes us to number two, document, don't create. Now, if you're an athlete and you're looking to build your fan base over time, the number one important thing that you gotta keep in mind is that you have to show up consistently. No longer are the days where you can just post once a month, post sporadically here and there, and you're able to garner a great amount of fans. You have to be consistent with your efforts, whether that's on a day-to-day -day basis, on a weekly basis. You have to make sure that you have a consistent theme so your audience and your fans can know what to expect, when to expect uh, different content from you. Millions of creators that are out there vying for the attention of your potential fans or your fans. So how are you standing out? You know, what makes you stand out from the crowd? You gotta document that journey. You can share highlight videos, training videos, daily vlogs, videos of just you showing your personality. Whatever the case is, you gotta keep in mind that you don't wanna overthink anything. You wanna just get started documenting. You gotta document your entire process. That way you're able to build content over time and eventually you'll be able to have a documentary that you could put on YouTube or you could have a mini doc or such as the LeBron James at the Drew League. You know, it's just these type type of moments that you want to keep on building towards. And last but not least, we have leverage big moments. Now, I think it's safe to say LeBron James playing at the Drew League was a big deal. Was it as big as 2016 Game 7 against Golden State? Probably not to LeBron James, but for that community, for the Drew League, for the kids that was in the stands, it was definitely an impactful moment and a big moment that you want to document and, and share with your fans and bring them along that experience with you. So, you know, LeBron James having the video on his YouTube channel for Uninterrupted uh, just just highlighted what it's about. You know, you want to be able to have those, mo those moments and then take your fans on an experience before the game during the game, after the game, take them on that ride with you so they're able to experience that with you. So you want to leverage those those type of big moments. And big moments can include rivalry games, conference games, uh, your NCAA tournament, draft week, whatever the case is. You want to make sure that you're documenting and then documenting those big moments so you're able to leverage it. Uh, just in case in point with sharing your video on your YouTube channel or releasing merch uh, when those big moments happen. It's tons of opportunity, but you want to make sure that you're leveraging these big moments such as LeBron James at the Drew League. So let's recap. Three tips for your athlete brand that you can take away from LeBron James playing at the Drew League would include creating your YouTube channel, document, not creating, and then you have leveraging big moments. So if you found this video to be interesting, 
make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell for any future videos that we release and you can know every time we drop a new video. And once again, I'm Andrew from Athlete Marketing Playbook, the channel that's gonna help you build, then monetize your athlete brand.